All right, good day, everyone. Let's see what we got cooking today. What is he cooking today? Oh, so Weber Kettle Grill. I love this little master touch, man. This thing is good for everything. Let's see what we got. Yep, he's doing some more jerk chicken. Actually, spatchcock jerk chicken today. Uh, so we're just about finished. Let's see where we at temp-wise. Let's check it out. So right now I'm blistering up that skin just a little bit. 149, 150. Okay. All right. 150. 164. Let's check the thighs. Thighs are 171. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour this and put it in a pan because I don't want my breath getting too dry. So let's flip this over and see what we got. Yep. That's what it's supposed to look like. Good old jerk chicken. Man, I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. Bones and everything, wings, legs, the breast. We're going to chop them up and make them into little bite size. Everything. Beautiful. But you know what? As always, you know I have to get me a little taste because I had this, I made my own jerk sauce, jerk marinade, and it's, I had this stuff marinade since, oh man, for almost 12 hours now. Perfect. Perfect. Mmm. Awesome taste. Absolutely. The flavor is all the way through. To the bone that's really tasty so i've been cooking jerk chicken uh for the past couple of days and i tell you what it's really it's really it's really tasty so but i think we're good yep i think the biggest thing when preparing jerk when you clean your chicken make sure you also clean it with vinegar all right so that way they get that meat getting really, really tender and get some of that vinegar inside that meat. And then um, I, I think I threw in three cups, three cups of uh, my jerk marinade, put it in a 10, uh, 10 gallon bag and let it, and let it just sit. Longer the better. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pan, wrap it up let it continue to cook. All right, guys, blessing to you. That's the kettle grill.